cumulative frequency graphs. These type of graphs appear quite often in IBMS studies exam papers, particularly in paper two in the long statistics questions. And in this key concept video, I just want to talk briefly about what the graph means, and then also talk about how to calculate the median and the lower and upper quartiles directly from the graph. And then after that, I advise to go, jump across to the question bank section and try some of these questions. Okay, so let's talk about this example graph here. This shows 80 days in which the temperature in Celsius were recorded. Now, how do I know that it was 80 days? Well, the top of my vertical axis is 80. So I have 80 data points here. And it looks like my temperature is between 14 and 24.5. So 14 being my minimum and 24.5 being my maximum. Now, a key difference between a cumulative frequency graph and just a simple line graph is that the data points accumulate over time. And the way that I want to describe that is to pick a particular data point. So let's pick, let's pick, what's a good one here? Let's pick, let's pick this one here. And let's say that it sits right on the axis here, even though it didn't exactly, I'm just going to assume that it sits right on this intersection. Okay, now what does this data point actually mean? It means that there were, I'm looking at the number of days here on the left, so this is number of days, and this is the temperature. This data point here means there were 40 days in which the temperature was less than 21 degrees Celsius. It doesn't mean that there were 40 days in which there, uh, it was exactly 21 degrees Celsius. It means that there were 40 days in which there were less. And the way to shade that region would look like this. If I was to shade all of this region, that is shading all of the days in which the temperature was below 21 degrees. And it also means that there were 40 days as well in which the day, in which the temperature was above 21 degrees. That's all of these days here. So that's what we mean by cumulative frequency graphs. It's adding data points together in ascending order. Now let's talk about how to find the median, the lower quartile, Q1, and the upper quartile, Q3. And I went into more details to what the quartiles mean and the median means in my first key concept video for descriptive statistics. Okay, let's have a look at this particular data set. There were 80 days, so 80 data points. The median will be the middle number, so that will mean we are looking for the 40th day. Now, when we use cumulative frequency graphs, we don't tend to use 80 plus 1 over 2, so the 40.5th day. We usually just halve it um, and then find so that, that middle number. And usually it's a pretty clean graph and it's a whole number like 80 or 100 or 200. So just simply halving that number, in this case, gets to 40. And then we just trace across, find where that meets the graph, and it's just to the right of that major grid line. Trace it down. So my median value is approximately, and I'll say approximately just by doing two squiggly equal signs, it's about 21.2, I would say, 21.2 degrees Celsius. Now let's talk about the lower quartile. Once we have found the median, that has essentially split our data points, of which we originally had 80, into two parts, the upper half and the lower half. And as I talked about in the first key concept video, the lower quartile is the median of the lower half. So the lower half has 40 data points, 0 to 40. So the median of 40, again, just simply just half the number is 20. So this here is my lower quartile. And to find the actual value of the lower quartile in terms of degrees, in this case, I just trace across, find where that meets the line, just to the left of the major grid line there, and this point here, which is roughly about 18.8 degrees Celsius. Now finally, my upper quartile, very similar process to the lower quartile, it's the median of the upper half. 
The middle between 40 and 80 will be 60. So this is my upper quartile. I then trace across, find where that meets the graph in between the minor and major grid line here. So my upper quartile, which is this point here, is roughly going to be 20, 22 points, this is point 0.5, so roughly 22.75. So that's how we find the median and quartiles directly off our cumulative frequency graph. And then a very common follow-up question would be, then go and estimate or calculate the interquartile range. And as we talked about in the concept, key concept video one, that is just simply the upper quartile, subtract the lower quartile. So for this case would be 22.75, subtract 18.8. And that right there is a brief overview of cumulative frequency graphs and the types of questions that you will see um, using these graphs.